go ahead and get comfortable. Back, belly. Playlist is Sing Along Sunday, and you can press play. Jean was giving me the can I press play yet signal in her body, which involved a lot of hand waving. Settle into the sounds around you. Externally. As well as the sounds internally. Maybe you can hear the sound of your breathing, the sound of your heartbeat. Begin to cultivate a deeper breath. Inhale through your nose. Open up your mouth and sigh out. Inhale, pulling air in. Exhale, sighing out. Inhale, pulling air in. Seal your lips. Exhale, push air out. Again. Add some movement in the wiggles, your fingers, or toes. Regardless of wherever you're at on your mat, as you begin to add movement in, linking breath with your body. Slowly find your way up onto your hands and knees. It happened over two breaths, over five breaths, over 10 breaths. But once you find your wrist below your shoulders and your knee is below your hips, you can sway a little bit from side to side. Maybe finding some circles through your hips. Cat cows, navel drops on the inhale, round through your back on your exhale. Still holding your ujjayi breath. Inhale, navel drops down, head looks up to the ceiling. Exhale, round through your back as you draw your tailbone down towards your heels and stretch your fingertips forward, child's pose. Inhale, lift up, rounding through your back. Exhale, drop your belly down, curl the toes under, lift your hips up towards the ceiling, downward facing dog. Cut over your feet a few times. One more full breath here. Inhale and crawl your toes up to the very front of the mat. Soften your knees and allow your body to hang. Maybe you hold on to either elbow as you sway a little bit from side to side. Stay with your breath, but maybe there's a different rhythm to it. Send your more chest to thigh. 
since your head is lower, your heart is lower. Or perhaps at this point, you've ditched the yoga altogether and it's turned into karaoke. Music has this beautiful ability to uh, link us to something in the past or to hold us to the present, to awake us or to elevate us. And it doesn't have to be that stereotypical music. It doesn't have to be the music that's playing through your headphones or whatnot. It can very simply be the sounds around you or the beat of your heart. Inhale, take a half lift, straighten your legs, slide your hands all up along your shins. Tuck your navel into your spine, Uriyana Bandha, root through the soles down through into the floor, into the foundation. Exhale, forward. Inhale, lift your arms up and over your head, fingertips reach up high. Exhale, take a side stretch over to the right, whatever you do. Inhale, lift up the center, exhale, walk to the side. Inhale, lift up, look up, little back bend, exhale, forward, fold down. Inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, press your palms into the mat and step back high to low, all on the exhale. Inhale, lift up through your heart, arch your back. Exhale, toes curl under, downward facing dog. Couple of breaths here to reset and refocus. Step or hop your feet up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach all the way up. Exhale, over to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale, up. Inhale, little back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Palms press. Exhale, step it back. High to low. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fix rise. Two to three breaths. Core engage. And exhale, find your feet to the front. Half lift, fold, reach all the way up side to side. Forward fold. Half lift, step it back, take your vinyasa. Feet travel to the front of the mat. Half lift, root and fold. Rise. Side to side. Fold. Half. Set it back to your vinyasa. We're going to add a little bit on this top. So once you get to your downward facing dog, inhale, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Let your hips drop a little bit, the lizard. Exhale, step back down. Inhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand, hip drop. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, walk, step or hop, feet up to the front, half lift. Exhale, fold. Reach up, side to side. Vinyasa. Inhale, right foot to the outside of your right hand. Exhale, back. Inhale, left. Exhale, back. Inhale, front and center. Half left. Fold. Rise, stretch, side to side. Take it to the rhythm of your breath. Pull out those lizard little things if they don't feel good. Slow it down if you'd rather. Speed it up if you need more.
One more all the way through. After you finish this last round, step or hop to the front of the mat. We're going to take the front half of Sally to A, Sun A one more time. So lift, side stretch on either side. Little back bend, forward fold. Half lift, step it back for your vinyasa. Bottom of your up, or inhale, you're going to step your right foot forward, drop your heart, I'm going to drop your heart, drop your chest, knee, get top. Reach your right hand back on your exhale. Try to catch your left toes. If that doesn't work for you, then you can keep the left toes down and just reach the right arm back. Inhale into a sky archer, so press down into your right foot, curl the left toes under. Lift that back knee and come all the way up, catching your right wrist. Open up to the right side of your body. Skandasana, left hip to left heel, left knee bends. Adjust your feet if you need to. Hands can always come down to the floor. We're going to reverse, revolve, swish, twisted crescent, whatever you want to call it, to the front. So look towards your right toes. Walk. Curl the left toes under, ground down through the right foot, bend your right knee, sweep your left arm up and draw your right arm back. So you get a nice lunge with your twist. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Inhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand, back knee drops, heart lifts, listen. Exhale, twist, left hand sweeps back, or you can grab onto your foot. Inhale, sky archer, release the foot, curl the toes under, back knee lifts, press into the left foot, rise up, catch your wrist. Exhale, right hip to right heel. Stand off and seat as low as you can. Walk to the front of your mat. Reverse revolved crescent, wishy fireball, whatever you want to call it, as your right arm comes up and your left arm back. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. A couple of breaths in your down dog. Step or hop up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, knee is bent, arms reach up, one single chair. Exhale, forward fold. Half lift, palms press, step it back, high to low. Inhale, right foot to the outside of your right hand, hip drop, exhale, twist. Inhale, catch your right wrist, sky archer, rise. Exhale, stand off, the left knee bends. Inhale, reverse revolve to the front, left arm up, right arm back as you lunge. Exhale, hands down, vinyasa. Inhale, left foot to the outside of the left hand. Exhale, twist. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, reverse revolve. Sweep your right arm up. Exhale, hands down. Take your vanessa. Couple of breaths and down dog. Step or hop feet to the front. Inhale, half. Exhale, fold. Inhale, knees bend, arms reach up, single chair. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half. Palms press. Take it back to your vinyasa. Heart and hips. Right foot to the outside of your right hand. Exhale, twist. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, drop your left foot to your left heel. Inhale, crawl forward, sweep your left arm up. Exhale, hands down, take your vinyasa. Left foot to the outside of the left hand, twist. Sky archer, grab your wrist, drop your hip, 
Crawl to the front, right arm high. And down to the mat, take it back. Reset breathing. Step or hop to the front, single chair. Start again with your right leg. Right foot to the outside, twist. Sky, catch your wrist. Know your feet are glued, you can always adjust them. Stand off, snuff, into reverse revolve, back to the front. Hands back down, take your vinyasa. Reach and repeat to the left. Couple of breaths to reset. Still move it. Know that you can start to take this on your own. There's something that feels good in your body. You want to add on if you want to take away. You get that single chair at the front before you move back through your sequence. Wherever you're at, take it through one more time. Once you get to your chair position at the front, go ahead and hold. Sink down and low into your chair, hips are heavy, heels are heavy, toes are locked. Relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. Inhaling through your nose, big full breath, turn your gaze up to match your fingertips. Squeeze through your inner thighs. Exhale, tap your knees or your elbows down towards your knees. Inhale, lift up onto the tips of your toes. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, tap. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, forward fold. Half of, step it back, try to look. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, draw your right heel towards your left glute. It's so light on the right side that you flip all the way over and sit. Maybe even your right knee comes down. I mean, your right elbow comes down. Inhale, you're gonna lift up into your wild thing. Hips lift, heart lift. Exhale, flip back around, taking your right knee to your left elbow. Inhale, kick your right foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, step your right foot in between your hands. Back heel down. Inhale, lift your right arm up. Reverse your warrior. Right knee bends, right arm up. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Step it back. High low. Inhale, lift your heart. 
Exhale, hips rise. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left heel to right glute. So you get so light on the left side that you flip and sit. Inhale, lift your hips and heart. Exhale, come back around, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, left foot steps in between your hands, back heel down. Inhale, lift up through your left arm, reverse your warrior. So you can sweep the right arm back. Exhale, hands come down to frame, step back, high to left. Heart looks up, hips rise. Turn your gaze up to the front of the mat. Walk, step, or hop. Inhale, take a half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, lift your arms up. Exhale, elbows tap. Inhale, lift up toes. Exhale, tap. Toes, tap. Toes, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step it back, high to low. Heart lifts up, hips rise. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, lift and sit. Inhale, lift, heart and hips. Exhale, come back around, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right foot in between your hands, back heel down. Inhale, right arm lifts up, reverse your warrior. Exhale, triangle pose. So straighten your right leg. Right hand comes down to right ankle, shin or big toe. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. Think about lengthening through your spine, core is engaged. Inhale, you're going to root down through both feet. So you can lift up into a big star. Exhale, turn towards the back of the mat and fold over your left leg. So all 10 toes turn. Think about your left hip tracking back and your right hip forward pyramid pose. So only come down what feels good. If you wanted to sweep your arms back for extra balance, you could. Root down into your left foot. Inhale into Dancing Shiva. You're going to start to draw your right knee up into your chest as you stand. Catch the right knee with your left hand or the right foot with your left hand, straightening the right leg. Reach your right arm back. So you've got a little twist. Exhale, swing back and take your vinyasa. Step or hop your feet up to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold. Bend your knees, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, elbows tap. Inhale, tips of the toes. Tap, lift. Tap, lift. Forward fold. Half lift, palms press, take it back there. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, open, lift, sit. Inhale, wild thing. Exhale, come back around, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, left foot in between your hands. Reverse your warrior. Left knee bends, left arm sweeps. Triangle pose on your exhale. Straighten your left leg, left hand comes down to foot, toe, ankle. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling. Inhale, lift all the way up. Turn the face in the front of the mat. Exhale, pyramid pose. Fold over your right leg. Think about your left hip tracking forward and your right hip back. Breathe down into your right foot. Inhale, dancing Shiva. Draw the left knee up into your chest. Catch the knee or the toes. Reach your left arm back. Exhale, take your vinyasa. Step or hop up to the front. Inhale, half left. Exhale, fold. Inhale, knees bend, arms reach up, three taps. Forward fold, half lifts, step it back. Right leg lifts up, exhale, flip and sit. Wild thing, come back around, knee to elbow, lift your right leg high, step through. Reverse warrior. Triangle. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold over your left leg to the back. 
Inhale, balancing postures. Root into the left foot, right knee lifts up into your chest, dancing Shiva. On your exhale, you're going to release the right foot, slide your right knee bent behind the left, curtsy. Revolved half moon. Right hand comes down to the floor. Inhaling, lift your left arm up and your left leg back. Exhale, malasana. So you're going to bring the right foot down, kind of near the left, separate the feet a bit. Turn the toes up, sink your hips down low. You're not staying here, don't get excited. But you can do some of those, but if you want. Inhaling, you're gonna rock your hips back. Exhaling, shoot all the way up. Inhale, chair, bend your knees. Exhale, tap your elbows down to your knees. Inhale, lift up, tips of your toes. Exhale, tap, lift, tap, inhale. Exhale, pull. Half lift, step it back, high and low. Inhale, left leg lifts high. Exhale, sit, flip. Reach up, wild thing, elbow to knee. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, warrior two, reverse. Exhale, left hand to left toe, triangle pose. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, pyramid pose to the back. Front of the room, over your right leg. Balancing positions, root into your right foot. Inhale, draw the left knee up into your chest, dancing Shiva. Exhale, left knee bends, take it behind your right leg, curtsy. Inhale, left hand down, lift your right hand up and your left leg back, revolve half move. Exhale into your malasana, sink your hips low, adjust your feet if you need to, maybe give it a butt squiggle. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, all the way up onto your feet. Inhale, lift your arms, chair. Exhale, tap. Inhale, toes. Exhale, tap. Toes, tap. Lift, fold. Half lift, step it back, kind of low. Right leg lifts up high. Sit and flip or flip and sit or whichever way you're doing it. Wild thing, knee to opposite elbow. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, step it through. Reverse your warrior. Triangle pose. Lift all the way up. Pyramid to the back of the rim. Fold over your left leg. Balancing postures. Dancing Shiva first. Catching the right knee. Exhale, curtsy. Right knee behind left. Inhale, revolve. Tap moon. Right hand down. Stretch your right foot back. Squeeze your glute. Exhale, stink low, malasana, maybe a butt squiggle. Inhale, rock it back. Exhale, soles of your feet. Inhale, sweep your arms up, chair. Exhale, tap. Tips of your toes. Tap. Lift. Tap. Now start to move. Use your breath. Half lift, step it back. Start again on the left side. Your breath, your body. Take that rhythm and go. Your left leg lifts up high. You've got your flip, sit, wild thing. Come back around with a crunch. Lift your left leg up and step through. Reverse your warrior. Triangle pose. Left hand to left toes. Making your way back around to the front of the mat. You inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold over pyramid. Balancing postures. Dancing Shiva. Curtsy. And then revolve your half moon. Deep velocity in the squat with a butt squiggle, and then you roll back and start again with your chair pulses. Those three elbow taps. A vinyasa takes you back into the right leg. Continuous movement, breath to body. And if you forgot something, Remember that you can always practice what you remember. Or you can just dance. That works too.
Keep breathing. Finish up the round that you're on, keep breathing. And once you make it back into your malasana, facing the front of the mat, that's that deep squat. Go ahead and hold right there. Draw the elbows into the inner thighs, press in. One more full breath. And if you're finishing up your round, keep going. But otherwise, on your exhale, press your palms into the mat and step back into a plank position. Lower down, high to left. Inhale, lift up for your heart. Exhale, lift up for your hips, downward facing dog. Take a few breaths to settle in. You're still flowing. Start to make your way back into your downward facing dog. Notice where your breath is at now. Find your heartbeat in the silence. Your brain connects to sound and long-term memory. So it can actually help you calm down, your brain calm down from chaos to keep you more centered and focused in the moment. Inhale, shift your shoulders over your wrists, plank position. Exhale, come down onto your elbows. Inhale, back up, palms of your hands. Exhale, down to your elbows. And just keep going, using that rhythm of your breathing to calm the chaos. The music to focus you in more. On your next breath, exhale, down dog. Step the right foot in front of, in between your hands. Left heel down. Inhale, lift your arms up, warrior one. Exhale, right arm comes back towards your left leg. Keep reaching through your left fingertips and bend a little bit deeper into your right knee. And just pull. Tuck your navel in and up towards your spine. Try to encourage a little bit of a deeper twist. One more full breath here. Inhaling, we're gonna to turn towards the long side of the mat in both knees, got us. Open the arms up, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Sink low through your hips. Lift up both heels, get them off the mat. Hips go down a little bit lower, back straight. There's that ballerina you wanted, Bob. Sit down a little bit more. One more full breath here. Heels come down. Inhale, spin around to face the back of your mat. Lunge into your left knee, right heel comes down. Reach both arms up. Exhale, left arm back towards your right leg. Reach through your right fingertips. Lunge a little bit deeper. Tuck your navel into your spine, keep breathing. Hips go a little lower. 
Inhale, lift you through your spine. Exhale, twist. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, back down to your elbows. Inhale, palms of your hands. Exhale, elbows. And just keep moving. Almost there. Exhale, knees down to the mat. Hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Reach your fingertips forward. Now, if you wanted to circle through your wrists while you're reaching forward, if you wanted to turn the palms up and reach your hands back to touch your shoulders so that you can feel the stretch through the tricep, that's an option as well. Sound creates these little baby footprints on your brain. These places to reflect back on, dig up an emotional context. They play into your episodic memory, which is kind of like a sitcom, where you start to remember parts of your life as the music fades up. So the longer a song has lived with you, the more memories there are attached to it. And that can be a good or a bad thing. Inhale, lift up onto your hands and knees. Reach your left leg back and your right arm forward. Think about your left hip diving down a little bit, press through your back heel and just extend. Navel tucks in and up towards your spine. You can play with pointing the toes if you would rather, but breathe. One more deep breath, inhale, lift. Exhale, release only your right hand down. Shift your weight into your right hand and your right knee. Inhale, lift your left arm up and take it behind your head. Exhale, you're going to crunch, drawing the left elbow so it points all the way down to the floor, even towards maybe your right wrist. Inhale, open up and expand as much as you can. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, open and expand. Exhale, crunch. Three more, please. Inhale, lift up through your left fingertips. Keep lifting through the outside of your left hip even so you can feel the burn rolling down the outside of your left leg. Keeping your left arm lifted. Left knee comes down to the mat. Reach your left arm forward so it's by your left ear and stretch your right leg back. Right hip tilts down. Keep squeezing through your back glute. One more deep breath, inhale left. Exhale, release only the left hand down. Inhale, shift your weight, left hand, left knee. Reach your right arm up towards the ceiling and then take your right hand behind your head. Inhale, reach your right elbow up high. Exhale, crunch. Right elbow points down or towards the left wrist. 
Inhale, lift up. Exhale, point down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, point down. Inhale, lift. You got three more. Stretch your fingertips up high. Feel the burn through the outside of your right thigh. Squeeze through your right glute. Keep breathing. Couple more breaths here. Reach a little bit higher. Exhale, release the right hand down. Take your right knee, adjusting the left knee as needed, slide it up towards your right wrist or in between your hands. Keep the knee bent. Sit down on your right hip. Draw your bent left knee in to match your right foot. So a little deer position here. Both knees are bent. Inhaling, lift up through your heart a bit. Exhaling, tilt. So you're trying to look towards your right knee. Inhaling, lift up through your heart again, and then exhaling, walk down. So you're feeling the stretch to the outside of your right hip. Now, if this doesn't quite work for you, as always, you can incline out into your pigeon pose, or you can add a little bit more of a twist. Like I'm turning to face, y'all. Here is wearing over the right knee, but you could also inhale, walk yourself more towards your right hip, and then exhale, release your chest down, either down to the elbows or down towards your chest. And if you wanted to complete that twist, then your head turns, looking towards the back toes. You can reach your right hand back for your back toes. Do whatever you need to do with your left hand. And just get heavy, weighted, and melted. Couple more seconds here. So if you wanted to stretch a little bit deeper for this last baby bit. Inhale, walk your hands back up. And your exhale, you're gonna switch sides. All that needs to be done to switch sides is just to walk up and then to turn your knees. 
Adjust your legs as needed. Inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, tilt yourself over the left knee and start to walk forward. Now, if you wanted that deeper twist like we did on the other side, you're walking your hands towards your left hip. Chest comes down, head turns to look towards the back toes. If your chest is all the way down to the floor, you could reach your left hand back to those back toes as your chest relaxes down. Do what feels right in your body today. Not what could come tomorrow or what came yesterday, but what feels good right in this moment. Three minutes of a song, four minutes of a song, two minutes of a song can equal years in your memory. But the same could be said of your child's laughter, of rain cascading down from a roof, of waves crashing onto a beach, of a voice, parents, friends, even badly off tune singing from a parent or a friend. All sounds, even silence, is life. Last couple of seconds here. So if you wanted to dig a little deeper, sink a little bit further. Inhaling, go ahead and walk your hands back. Exhaling, swing around to one end of your mat, doesn't matter which. And slowly roll down onto your back. Hug your knees into your chest and let yourself rock a little bit side to side. Now, if there's anything particular you need to finish your practice, go ahead and let that happen. So if your preference is an inversion, you want to move next to a wall so you can throw your feet up. Do what you need to. 
Otherwise, take a twist, let your knees fall to the right and extend your left arm out to the left. Just so that you can feel some stretch through your spine. Some heaviness in your shoulders. Inhaling, you can draw your knees up to center. Exhale, opposite side. If you're not twisting, please feel free to shift your position into something else. Inhale, draw the knees off the center. Have them in one last time, rock just a bit side to side. And then lengthen out into whatever form of shavasana you're taking today. Letting your body relax, rest. Slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Allow your head to rock from side to side. Place your hands over your heart. And just feel that rhythm. Breathe into that space.
Inhale, lift your arms up and over your head. Exhale, roll over to one side. Think of one or two or three things you feel super grateful for in this moment. using your hands to push you up into a seated position. Inhale, lift your arms up and over your head, palms pressed together. Exhale, hands down over your heart. It has been my honor to guide you this morning. Whether your song was just to practice without music or your song was to sing and practice not at all. Thumbs up to the third eye. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Thank you.